Okay, so we've so far made the wiring on the CMOD board and we've programmed it. The next part is going to be to actually wire this up to the 360's main board. And before I do that, I need to note that I missed one step when doing the construction of the CMOD board, or rather the wiring, wiring on it. You also have to remove the R1 from the eBay um, core module, I think is what it's called. And if you don't, it won't work and it actually gets really hot. Took me two boots to figure that out. Anyway, this is a different main board than the one that I have already tried on because I uh, had to recharge the camera battery and didn't have time to wait. So, anyway, I'll get started. I put uh, some electrical tape over the Ethernet and video cables, and I'm actually going to put a piece of tape around the C mod because I'm going to need to flip the board over here. I don't want it to go anywhere. I guess I could give a little overview of the wires. I, I hooked wires up already. Um, this one's for CPU PLL bypass. This is post out one. Uh, this is going to be VCC and ground. And then, uh, yeah, standby clock. So I'm going to grab something to prop this up for when it's flipped over. Makes it easier to work on the board. So the lines that we need for the bottom are CPU, PLL bypass, and the uh, post out one. And with the CPU, PLL bypass, I've been shoving it around the back of the motherboard instead of going through any holes. And then you need the uh, post out one, and I have been putting that through this hole here. It actually, for me, since I'm using all the same color wire, that makes it easier for me to know which one is which when I have it flipped over so I don't have to look at the C mod again. I can go ahead and hook up the ground wire while I'm here. That one's not going to be dangerous. I want to wait to hook up the top wires until I've got it hooked up on the bottom first. I'm going to string it underneath the other wires so that it's not going to pull on any of them. It may take a second to heat it up because I have mine turned down low for working on the board and this is a big big plane to be heating up and I think that's probably good I don't like when you see wire showing through my solder okay so anyway ground is hooked up Flip it over. And put my little ghetto prop on it. On the, I guess that's the GPU heat sink. And the points that we're looking for are on the CPU side, obviously.
And if you go right here underneath the CPU heat uh, X clamp, this is where the post out one is going to go, which is the one I stuck through the hole. And I've been running this. Wow, well, okay. I'm actually going to hook up the CPU PLL bypass first so that I'm running the post out over it instead of. Instead of running it under the that wire, so what you're looking for here is above the X clamp, and you're looking for the spot called TP763 right next to it, or right to the right of it. There are two spots with solder. You want to solder it to the one to the right, the second one. And the easiest way to do it is to tin your wire because that spot's so tiny it, it's hard to get solder to stick to it. So just tin your wire before you solder it and it'll stick well. I'm actually going to undo this C mod because it's causing me to have to pull on that wire and I don't want to do that. And it's not going to get messed with. So it should be fine. Okay. Wire is already tinned. And I would also make sure when you do this that you have it in a good position before you try and solder it down. You do not want to pull that spot up off the board. I'm going to grab a pair of tweezers. So I can get a better hold on it, hopefully. There we go. There it is. These tiny little spots can be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. So that's CPU PLL bypass. And this one's usually not that bad to solder on. And this one's going to be post out one. And post out one, um, there's going to be six spots in a row starting at FT6U2. And you want to solder to FT6U7. And I am going to try and tin the spot just a little bit before I solder on it. usually take as small a piece as I can of electrical tape and tape both of those down 
somewhere a little bit away from the spot so that it won't tug on it at all. Now we can flip the motherboard over. Finish up with the top wires. You can rearrange it however you need to get the proper amount of slack. I'm going to have to after I stop the video. Anyway, next we've got uh, the CPU reset. Sorry. This one goes to the header called uh, JBC1 and it goes to pin 2 Probably kind of hard to see that, but pin 2 right there on JB C1. Then we've got that standby clock there. I'm going to hook up VCC first. VCC goes to pin 7 on let's see, J2B1. Pin seven. And I always wait to do standby clock to the end because it's such a small spot. I've already got got it tinned to do this. And I probably need to tin the wire just a little bit more. So I don't think it really is right now. All right, and what you're looking for for standby clock is uh, R4B24. And you're hooked up. Now you just need to straighten your wires up and... Uh, and then we can flash the name.